All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, doing a, another tutorial video for you. Um, today we're going to look at um, doing some, some Google Docs, Google Classroom stuff on um, a cellular device or an iPhone um, is what I, what I did this, this on. Um, should work pretty closely to what um, other devices like an Android, I mean, um, Google, all that kind of stuff. It probably works really great with Google because all this stuff is made by Google. Uh, but uh, just to show you the, the different different um, steps um, you'll have to take, there's some different buttons. You guys are probably better experts at this than, than I am, um, you know, as far as how to use a cell phone. But um, there are a couple of things, trying to format pages and doing some things like that that I'll, I'll walk you through, um, through on, on this video. So here we go. Okay, so this is my screen. Um, don't judge me. This is my, my bulldog Susie. She's taking a nap on the back porch. That's my, that's my background. Uh, but taking into account that you've already um, downloaded these um, Google apps, I'm, I'm going to kind of rewind here and kind of show you how I've got this. So this is the classroom app. That's what it looks like. You can get that through whatever um, app store that you use. Um, this is the Drive app that I also recommended. Um, that you get, and I don't actually have a picture of um, the docs here, but uh, if, if if you download those, it makes it extremely easy. They'll they'll flip back and forth between apps, which is actually kind of cool um, as you as you work on this stuff. So I'm getting into the classroom app, try not to get ahead of myself too much. And again, this is from my um, son's account, so I did another page which I gave. Uh, or another classroom that I gave the same assignment to, the same sample assignment that I gave you guys um, the other day with the computer tutorial. Uh, a lot of you guys have already actually uh, turned that in and, and done some done some work already, so we're, we're getting a little head start. Um, but the uh, sample here, that it, it's exactly the same assignment as what I gave you guys, but um, different class. You'll actually get in the English class, but this is labeled um, a sample English. Okay, so same assignment. This is called roll call. Okay, so I'm on the phone. Um, to click on the assignment, you literally just tap on it. Um, and again, you can get to that either on the stream, which looks a little bit more like a social media thing, or the uh, the classwork. Okay, so instructions. I'm going to show you guys how, how I would do this here in just a minute. I'm copying and pasting so you don't forget that. This is the one drawback that I found um, using the mobile platform is that... Um, you know, what am I supposed to do again? Oh, I got to go back and forth, back and forth. So copying and pasting these instructions is going to be really, really easy for you. You just got to remember to erase them um, when you're when you're finished with them. So, um, but this is the this is the assignment. This is, um, you know, what we're what we're supposed to be doing here. So what I did is I clicked um, the same button that we click for the computer, but um, it's add attachment. Okay, instead of create, um, and then I'll have to scroll down here to, to find um, docs. So I'm going to create a document, and, and it's adding to the assignment, and it takes a little bit. Uh, my, my cell phone is probably older than yours, uh, so it's going to take, take just a second. Um, but when it comes up, when I see that, it has your name on it, and I like that. Um, because it, it shows me exactly who it is when they turn it up, turn it in, um, and and when you turn that in, who who it is. If you do it a different way, it's going to say untitled document, and I have to kind of search um, and see who to give points to. So, uh, but when we click that, it creates a document. The one thing that is a little bit different, okay. And then uh, again, this is just me going and, and copying and pasting here um, the uh, instructions. I'll just click copy there. Um, and then come back over to the next tab. I don't want to paste that onto the document. You have to click the little pencil um, down at the bottom bottom right to actually do something with the document. And once you do that, um, you can copy and paste the and directions um, on there. So that's what I've done there. I'm just showing you the um, page setup. You can change the margins and things like that. This is it's really a too much information. They're already set up for us. Okay, but this is how to format okay, the document to MLA. Okay, so um, if you see this little A with a couple of lines 
um, right there. We, we click on that to get to all the formatting stuff that we need to make it MLA. Um, so once you click on that, it brings up this um, next page. So it gives you all of the different things that you can change. So first, I'm changing okay, my font um, and my font size. So I'm changing the font to Times New Roman. Okay, that's what we have to use for MLA. Um, and then I'm going to change the um, size to 12 point. Okay. Um, and then I go to the next thing for paragraph. This is how I change my line spacing from the default to um, double space. So double spaced and 2.0 are the same thing. Okay. So um, the uh, header is a little bit trickier. Okay. So I'm going to take just a little bit of time for that. Um, so on the header, I actually have to push the plus sign up here. Okay. So when I push that plus sign, um, it's going to give me a, a couple of different things that I can do, but I'm looking for page number. Okay. So it, it puts it in the same spot. It's not technically called a header like it is on the full version, the computer version. Okay. But it gets us the same result, um, as clicking that, that, that header and footer. Okay. So when I put the page number on here, okay, I'm going to look for the one, two on the top, right? It gives me the page number. Now all I have to do is just type in my last name. Okay, a couple of you guys did literally my last name. It has to be your last name. Okay, whoever's writing the paper. Um, and that gets my um, gets my header done. Okay, next I have the heading, okay, which is your name, whoever's writing the paper, um, who you're turning in the paper to, so the instructor name is the next thing. Um, then the class name, which I said is English one for us. Again, if you want to put your second hour, third hour, or whatever it is next to that, that's fine too. And then the date. Okay, so today's date's the 31st of March. So you go from smallest to biggest on that. Um, and that's how the date looks. Okay, to change how the paragraph looks, it's actually on um, the screen right next to it. It's highlighted now. Um, that's centered. That's what you're going to have to do for your title. Okay, and then I'm pretty much done for what the instructions said. Okay, on on that except for turn in. So I'm going to erase all this junk, okay, that I put on there just to remind myself what I'm doing for the assignment. So I've got a clean page and this is what I want to turn in, okay. So once I'm done erasing all this stuff, I'm going to go back up, go to the other app, okay. This saves automatically. You don't have to actually click a save button, um, but if you do click that check mark, it knows that you're done um, editing what it is that's on that screen, okay. You go back to the classroom app, okay. Um, click on the assignment and then just uh, I already submitted this once for the other tutorial but just the resubmit and then the turn in button are the exact same thing um, so I turned it in okay so that's how you uh, do this on a cell phone again you guys are, are usually a little bit um, more tech savvy on these on these kind of things and we are um, I use my iPad a lot I don't use my phone but that's how you can type it you can literally type a research paper um, any kind of paper on on your phone is just a little bit different on how to get to those uh, you know different different uh, uh, spots where we make it in LA. So um, hope this helps um, for those of you that that don't have access to a computer. Um, hopefully this is something that can can help us out. Um, you know using our cell phones if we have to do do what we can to to get our jobs and stuff done. So um, hopefully this is um, you know everything that you need. If you do have any other questions, I'm going to put my um, email address um, there at the end of the video again um, for you guys. I know this is a long video to, to sit through, but hopefully you can uh, see everything that you need to. But if you have questions, don't don't feel shy to uh, email um, you know, and with those things, and, and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can on those. All right. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.